All right, gonna be a good day on the golf course. Just a couple of warm up shots. Feeling so confident. Man, I'm just gonna really crush this ball right here. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh. Where did that go? I don't know, maybe on this one I need to really get my hips firing. Just like on television, like Rory, really get those hips firing. Get those hips firing. Oh, that thing went way left. All right, maybe my maybe my chest isn't turning fast enough. If I can get that chest turning fast enough, get my hips turning fast enough, I can really get this ball sent out there. That's that's got to be the ticket right there. Okay, really get everything. That was awful. Hi there, my name's Mark Atchison, PGA professional and Malaska golf instructor here at Superstition Mountain. And if any of those swings look familiar, I've got a great drill that's going to help us get control over our body. In all three of those swings, we overused our body, made it very difficult for us to maximize the potential speed of our arms and hit a golf ball far for the right reasons. So, first one, I really tried to get my body into it and I lost my balance, I lost my spine angle, I, I almost chunked it. The second one, I, I spun my hips really hard. You know, you, they talk about how Rory fires his hips and turning his belt buckle to the target. On that one, I spun so hard that my body was wide open and then I really overdid it on that last one and I tried to get everything turning as fast as I could in the hopes that I could create power and as I got up there, by the time I got to impact, my body was so far out of position, it was practically impossible to hit a solid shot or, or even hit it remotely straight. So the drill that I want you to work on is called the one foot drill, okay? You're going to pull your feet together. You're going to pull your right foot back, placing your weight on your toe, okay? So from this side, if you take your normal stance and posture, pull your feet together until everything's touching nice and tight between your legs. Then you're going to pull your right foot back, placing it on the toe going to have the knees in the same spot. Don't cheat and stick your leg out because then you're going to be able to accommodate some movement. And what we want to see is that from this drill with your right foot pulled back and lightly uh, the weight lightly on that right foot, if we fire our hips we lose our balance. If we over rotate our chest we lose our balance. If we overuse our body at all we're going to lose our center and we're going to lose our balance. And if we don't know where our center is, we don't know where the bottom of our arc is, and it makes it very difficult to hit a solid shot. So doing the drill, one foot drill, feet together, right foot back. We're gonna make a little three quarter or L to L swing, okay? Nice straight shot, good balance maybe a little bit of wobble in there, but if I was to hit 15 or 20 of these shots on the range, get very comfortable with the sequence of my arms swinging and my body being really solid and centered, then when I go to hit a normal shot, using my arms for the speed and my body as a frame, then I can make a balanced swing over and over and over again. So use the one foot drill. Let's get rid of that unwanted movement. Let's get those ideas of where our speed is coming from, from the arms, and, and get rid of those ideas that the, the, the speed and the distance is coming from our rotation, because all that does is make us lose our balance. So 15 or 20 of these drill swings a day, we're gonna see a, a big jump in the consistency of not only your contact, but definitely the direction of your golf ball and the overall distance of your shot. So one foot drill, work on this, you're gonna have a great time. See you next time.